Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and today I have a 99 cent only haul to share with you and then two just two items that I grabbed from Dollar Tree really quick. Um, I'll just start with that. Um, the first thing I picked up was this USB wall tap charger and they do not carry these all the time. So if you see them, pick them up. They do work good. I know the 99 cent only will try to sell them for more than a dollar sometimes. So when I see them and it's not very often, I do pick these up because they come in handy. So I got that from Dollar Tree. And then um, I also picked up this little kind of like a shadow box. You're supposed to clip pictures here. It says strong is the new pretty. My whole uh, attempt with this is to actually make a shadow box for the very first time. I figured why not, why, why not try it, um, especially with a Dollar Tree frame. I think that will be great. So I can't wait to play around and see what I come up with. And then I mentioned before my last 99 haul that um, 99 has been bringing out some stickers. Now a lot of them do resemble the Dollar Tree ones, but some are new and um, I'm excited because I never used to find anything good at the 99 as far as stickers related. So I came across some more birthday themed ones. So I have this one here and they're just called the Craftology Handmade Embellishments and these are just really pretty um, happy birthday stickers definitely in my color scheme so I really like that I saw these here with the little presents again um, the color scheme that I'm looking for they did have some flowers this time around so I picked up these thought these would be really pretty they do have some glitter accents and then some have some little mini rhinestones and I'm loving the green um, like leaves popping through so super cute Again, they had a lot. I only picked up the ones that I knew that I would use. Um, they had these really pretty ones. These definitely look like something from Dollar Tree, but um, I really like the colors, like the peachy, and then the little yellow color, and then this really pretty blue. So very, very nice. Another set of birthday stickers. So my whole intent is these will be great for especially like memory decks cards. And of course, like the colors are on point, so I had to get those. These were also some little sentiment birthday stickers. These are like little banners. I thought these would be really cute too for embellishments. Super adorable. And then I found some double-sided foam squares. Now they did have circular ones, but they were all messed up. So um, I've never tried these before. I do um, buy their foam tapes and stuff like that, but I thought these would be kind of cool to try out for embellishments to make them pop up even more. And um, yeah, so I'm excited to see how well these work. And you are, I'm trying to see if it tells you how many you're getting, but you don't, it just tells you the dimensions. But I thought that was a nice little find. And then something else I found that was new was the white and craft cards and they're six by six sizes and um, yeah, you're getting a craft card envelopes and the card itself and how many did it say? Five. So you're getting a set of five and they look pretty nice too. And I did want to mention too that while I was there and around all this little craft area, they had actual 12 by 12 paper pads, believe it or not, but um, they were selling some, they were selling for $1.99 and the colors were pretty, but the paper quality was not. It was very thin, like the little um, Dollar Tree ones that they come out with, very thin quality. So for me, it wasn't worth it. If I'm going to buy a big paper pad, I'd rather it be good quality than not something I would use. And then the ones from Dollar Tree, I usually buy them is just for packaging purposes. I don't usually create anything with those because they are so thin. So, um, but if you are a beginner into crafting and you're looking for some cheap paper to start off with, um, they are selling paper pads right now. It was new to me. I have never seen anything like that before. Um, they did have another one that was solid color and it was a card stock. So it was definitely a little bit better in quality, but that one was going for $2.99 and it was solid colors and it just wasn't colors that I was actually needing. Um, but it might be something that I'll probably pick up in the future if they continue to carry them. So 
I'm really excited that they brought those out because maybe that's a start to bringing out better quality paper pads and if they raise the price up on them a little bit that's fine as long as the paper quality is great but just a heads up I did want to let you guys know um yeah so that is my 99 haul for this time around I hope you guys are doing well if you're new here hit that subscribe button I would love to have you and I will see you guys on my next video take care guys and bye